Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to germinate plum seeds. So, with the plums, when you eat them, you'll find this thing inside. So this isn't the seed, this is the pit, and the seed is inside the pit. So the first thing you want to do is to get the seed out of the pit. I do it with the pliers. You can try with a hammer, but sometimes you might squash the seed, and you don't want to do that. Um, I just go, I just take my pliers and I go around where it's more flat, just to see if I can get an opening that I can then open the husk with, without damaging the seed inside. So you need to be very careful not to squash the whole seed. So. Just going around the flat edges or flatter edges and then breaking it up with the pliers. Okay, so there's already a small opening here. So all I need to do is work around this opening. Okay, there you go. This is your actual plum seed. They vary in size, so some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, more chunkier. But a plum is a plum. They all have to go through the same process in order to germinate. So I'm gonna go and take out my next one. Whenever I'm doing any um, pit fruits, I like to do more than one because a lot of times I end up ruining the seed while, while trying trying to open it. But that first one went well, so let me try with this one now. Okay, so I've got the first opening here. Now I'm just going to work around it, try to make it large enough so I can just open the husk. So I've opened my second one and it's a dud. So when you see that it's too flat, too thin and too dry, then this is not going to germinate so don't even bother. So I'm just doing one. And what you need to do is you need to put it on a paper towel. Then just get it moist. Not too much, you don't want to drown it. If you put too much water then it might rot so just enough so the seed is not completely dry and then once you've got all the paper moist enough all you need to do is put it in a plastic sealable bag Sometimes I like to just give it a few extra squirts in the bag just to have some moisture around and seal it back. And now this has to go in the fridge. So this needs to go in the fridge so that the seed can break dormancy so it thinks it's going through the winter and then it will start growing. I had previous plum seeds that I germinated a few weeks ago and now I can show you after a few weeks in the fridge what's gonna come out of that don't worry if it doesn't take a few weeks sometimes it can take months I've had uh, plum seeds that took me over a year to germinate in the fridge just left them there as long as they don't go moldy just leave them there and then 
just keep checking until you see something uh, sprouting. This one took about three weeks and I left it for too long but it's still fine I can still pot it up and it will grow from here so this is what it looks like you don't have to wait this long you don't have to let the roots grow this big you can literally as soon as you see the roots starting to come out you can just put it in a pot straight away but I didn't check enough times and by the time I went and checked it, it was already too big but that's fine that is still gonna grow now what I do is I just get a pot with some soil and then I need to dig up just enough space to have room for the roots to go in So this soil is pre-moistened, so I don't have to water it too much after I've uh, planted the seed. Actually it's not that moist, so just so it doesn't fall back in when I'm digging it up, I'm just going to give it a few more um, extra water. And now, once you've got enough room for your roots, all you need to do is put them in and then cover them up maybe I need to dig a little bit more hold on okay so the roots are in and with plums always leave the top of the seed out of the soil because if you bury that most times it doesn't have enough strength to just come out of the soil so what I do I bury the, the roots and I leave the seed sticking out and then the seed will keep coming up from there and that will form the first leaves of the plant not the true leaves, just the first ones. And now, just getting it a bit more water. Actually, because it was big roots and I don't want any air pockets around it, I'm not gonna just spray it. I'm gonna pour some water on it. And this is basically it. This is how you germinate and plant a um, plum tree. And after it reaches this point and after it's out of the fridge it will start um, sprouting up and not just the roots and in no time we'll have this so this seedling is only maybe two weeks old and it's already this big so this is what you're gonna get after you've planted the plum seed thank you for watching